Okay, and welcome back. This time we're going to talk about the wonderful world of Zencaster. And this is likely the platform you can use to record remotely when your guest is not going to be in the same room with you, essentially. Zoom is another option, which I know a lot of people definitely throughout the course of the pandemic were embracing. I happen to prefer Zencaster which is basically Z-E-N-C-A-S-T-R dot com up here. And I want to show you how to use this particular platform. We start by going and log in because your account is more than likely ready to go. They do have free accounts, thankfully, which gives you plenty of space. But I'm also going to show you what happens. And this is important to know for your guests when they come on. Ah, so uh, my, my browser does not support Zencaster, which means I'm going to basically just have to use a different one. And I always, always tell my guests the same. You have to use Google Chrome, Brave, or Edge. Any of those will work. Okay, so here we go. Back to Zencaster without any hiccups this time. Now this will pop up similar to Zoom. They're embracing video podcast recording. So you do have the option of seeing your guest. I tend not to do this only because I feel that once you involve video, it could lead to a lag or any sort of issues that I have yet to encounter when it comes to audio. Again, there's some episodes I've done here already, but basically just click on create new episode to begin. And here we go. Like I mentioned, record audio only is what we want. And we click on create. Oh, and here we go. So as you can see, my name is already here. You can basically just send this link to your guest, email it to them, and they can just pop right on. As long as they have their microphone set up and they're using one of the supported browsers, they're ready to go. However, there's also this option. You can click on invite, type in the guest's name, and you can certainly put in their email as well. Send perfectly. Okay. So your guest will appear very similarly to how I appear here, right below. And you have the option to chat with them. This here lets you know if the guest has passed. <laughs> the initial health check is what they call it. That basically just means they're ready to go. Sometimes, oh, sometimes Mike will appear here and sometimes it doesn't. You can also click on settings to double check everything is the way you want it to be. For example here, I don't want it to be in my internal microphone. I want it to be my USB microphone input, which could also be your uh, Behringer, any number of microphones you can go with here. We want that to be your input. And of course, the output is essentially wherever you're listening to the audio from. We definitely don't want the monitor on. We get a lot of echo, I've learned, even though they have an echo cancellation feature. For some reason, when I do enabled, ah, now I'm hearing myself echo, which I don't really enjoy when I'm talking to another person. So that's something I, I don't recommend utilizing. Okay, so as you can see here, my wave line <laughs> is uh, fluctuating, which means the sound from my microphone is being picked up very, very well. And that should also hold true for your guest. This mutes us if we need to. And similar to Zoom, this is a, a raise hand function. I don't know if you'll ever ne necessarily need to use that. I think it's more for panel discussions in large groups. They can certainly do that to let the host know they have a question, I doubt you'll ever need to. 
So as you can see, like I said, this is working great. All we want to do is click on Start Recording. And both you and your guest are currently talking, and this is how you know this is being recorded. And to conclude the episode, all you have to do is click Stop. And as you can see, the MP3 is now ready for download. And one of the best features of Zencaster is that you and your guest will have separate MP3 downloads, meaning you can mix this in GarageBand separately as opposed to having it all on one track, which is great. That's kind of the goal. However, one important note for your guest, tell them to stay on Zencaster until they see this blue MP3 download button here. If they happen to leave before this pops up, then you won't see this. And basically you have to tell your guests, hey, go back to Zencaster really quick, because this is important to have. This is basically your finished recording. And you click on that, and then click on this one more time, and it's basically downloaded into your downloads. And it comes up as the episode name, very long. I tend to rename it to whomever the guest was, and in this case it was me. So we got Jim. And now we are ready to import that into GarageBand successfully. So that's basically how you use Zencaster for remote recordings when uh, your guest just happens to not be uh, there with you in the same room. I'll talk about uh, another option, especially when you're using Zencaster, just in case. That's coming right up. Thanks.